Well, hello, fellow gamer thugs. We're back again, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about the PlayStation 5 controller and the Xbox Series X controller. The next gen thingy, man. Let's hop in. Alright, first, how far are these two controllers different from the current generation PS4 and uh, Xbox One controllers? Well, the last generation, the controller comfort, people always, you know, claimed and they've always gone behind uh, Xbox controllers for their, you know, comfort in their hands and the button clicks and everything. But I'm being a major PlayStation fan, but still I don't want to talk in one way, but I, f I felt that the PlayStation 4 controller, you know, really felt great in my hands with the keys and everything and the response time as well. Uh, Xbox One has a response time amazingly down well too. But I felt the clicking sounds, you know, the mechanical things from the elite controllers they always say about but I felt the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller is really good for me I mean uh, the response time and everything have been good and the comfort levels have been so good I mean I, I've used the Xbox One controller too but I always felt the PlayStation 4 controller is a you know it's a match made heaven for me yeah but what about the next generation the PlayStation 5 controller and the Xbox Series X controller well the, let's talk about the Series X controller first why is because the play the Xbox Series X controller actually looks like the current uh, you know the Xbox uh, Pro controller, which is wireless, I guess. Yeah, that Pro controller ha actually has a lot of customization going on. So, is it really possible for the basic Xbox Series X controller to be that much customizable, just like the uh, Xbox One X Pro controller? Which, which really sold real well, but but it has a major price point as a difference. And the customization thing is really good and it has gone really well. And why I'm comparing the Series X controller to the uh, Xbox One controller, I mean the Xbox One Pro controller, is because it has these uh, D-pad thing, right? It, the D-pad totally looks like the same. I don't know about the customization thing, but it totally looks like the same, you know, the D-pad and everything. And there's an ex extra, you know, uh, extra button on the sides just like the PlayStation share button we have you know we're used to that thing right um, back in I mean like uh, in the current generation we can share videos and pictures in Xbox right but we didn't have the dedicated share button just like the PlayStation 4 controller does the dual shock thing yeah and now we have that so now let's talk about the PlayStation 5 dual sense controller it's not dual shock it's dual sense the name has changed you know the next generation the name has changed and why why that is because the dual sense just like the name suggests the controller makes you sense <laughs> you know right like uh, let's say if you're driving Gran Turismo game the next Gran Turismo game you can feel the tarmac and you can feel the gravel well if they actually have the gravel in the next game, you know, like a, uh, like a rally thing we got in Gran Turismo Sport. And, yeah, so, and we can even feel the tarmac, we can feel the gravel, you know, we can feel the thing, we, you know, if you go off the track and everything. And some rumors even say that we can even, <laughs> you know, feel the reload, reloading of the guns in shooting in shooting games, you know, like and the difference between the uh, normal gun and the shotgun. That, so that, that that is like a typical next generation coming in. So we'd be pretty much glad for that. And and just <laughs> look at just by saying that the looks, we can say like uh, Xbox Series X control looks the same like what we have right now in the current generation maybe it's a little bit small or big I don't know we gotta get it in our hands first and the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller people make fun of it already I mean it looks really amazing people love it but some some salty people they always say like you know uh, it's a ripoff from the Xbox One controller it's not that great you know you guys just copied from Xbox and everything but and some people on the other side they even say like the Xbox I, I mean like the the PlayStation 5 controller looks like a Avengers Endgame suit <laughs> well well if you look at that way it actually looks the same uh, you know uh, we've been shocked by that too and uh, we never had the idea before but whenever but when I see people talking about it yeah now I look it like that <laughs> yeah and now it feels fine and now the haptic feedback is the one thing that's a major draw for the PlayStation 5 controller. What about the Xbox Series X controller? What's so different in that? Well, 
Microsoft promised about the latency there will be no latency and the response time is something that has never been before you know we've never felt like that before in the whole planet it's it's like it's like um, I don't know I don't know if this is much of a big deal or anything but the eSports guys man I mean they're gonna dig this eSports guys they are they were always about using pro controllers I mean I, I've used Nacon pro controller in my PlayStation well I don't know much of a difference but maybe the eSports guys they are pretty much into it and they would probably know the difference and the Xbox Series X controller uh, Microsoft promised there will be no latency thing which would be pretty much low I guess but there will be no latency and the response time is something we will be you know we'll be amazed of and everything yeah well well talking about the backward compatibility now Xbox Series I mean j not forget about j just the Xbox Series X the Xbox itself it's the Xbox mentality man the gaming mentality it's all about being backward compatible you can play the Xbox games you can play Xbox 360 games you can play, we can play Xbox one and the Series X now coming in we can play like full generation of games in a single console and what about the controller yeah the thing is the major major announcement Xbox made is that we can use the Xbox Series X controller on Xbox One and we can use the uh, Xbox One controller on the Xbox Series X which I cannot confirm but maybe if that is true then that is a blessing in disguise right coming from the old controller guys so what about the PlayStation side is the DualSense controller backward compatible with the PlayStation 4 I don't know. We'll see that, but maybe, maybe that could that could be a major pull too. I mean, we can buy multiple controllers. And what about the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller working on the um, PlayStation 5? Will that happen too? Well, I don't know. But if that if that is true, as the, there are already rumors going on here and there. But if that is true, then that's going to be a great thing for us. I mean, we always have multiple controllers with us, right? And we don't want to throw everything just out of the bin when the new one comes out. So if that plays on the PlayStation 5 and the Series X, wow, that's going to be something, right? All right, now, the final thing, guys. We got to talk about the connectivity. Yeah. Uh, the last generation PlayStation 4 controller, we had the uh, USB connectivity, the micro USB, I guess. Man, I'm not good with the names. Yeah, the connectivity and the rechargeable thing, and which is pretty much good, but the you know the battery life is not that great. <laughs> so people complain about that. And the Xbox controller on the other side, they gave us AAA batteries. Well, talking about you know they they're talking about the generation leap, and they still gave us uh, batteries in 2013, which weirded out a lot of people, but people got used to it. All right. But the next generation, I mean, the uh, Xbox Series X controller, they they have a rechargeable battery thing going on, as well as the USB-C and the PlayStation uh, DualSense controller. Even that has a USB-C. Everything in the world should be USB-C right now. It's pretty much, uh, you know, a common thing going on right now. So yeah, and that's for the connectivity. And PlayStation promised that they would increase the battery life so that we can have, you know, uh, <laughs> seamless gaming experience. Yeah. And Xbox Series X, they would probably update game too. So that's it, guys. All right, guys. This this is what something I want to share to you guys, and it felt fine for you. And if you like the video, if you like this feed, just please comment, share, and subscribe. And we would get you more info soon. And and guys, I just want you, I just want you to, uh, you know, take a look at the state of play from PS4. And I want you guys to check it out. The Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. We will review that too in our channel. So gamer talks. We're out, man. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.